What's up you guys? So today I wanted to talk about creatine and whether or not it can cause hair loss. Now the reason being is that I've been noticing some hair loss lately. Um, you know, whenever I wear a black shirt, I'll look down and I'll fucking see, you know, just random shreds of hair. Like I'm shedding all over. Um, my shower drain has been clogging up. Um, when I, when I dry my hair with a towel after a shower, I just see hair fucking falling. Um, and it's just gotten a little bit ridiculous and it's only been happening since I've started taking creatine again. Now, the way that I do creatine, I cycle it like you would cycle a steroid. And I believe creatine is one of the most, the most useful supplements on the market. And one of the only supplements that actually works and actually works immediately. You immediately notice the results of creatine. I know everybody's body's different. Everybody responds different differently, but most people, I believe I read a study that said, Eight out of ten people have the same type of response to creatine where they immediately notice weight gain or water retention or, or a boost in strength. And that's that's kind of the way I am. So the way I do it is the first week, um, I believe one a regular serving of creatine is five grams or one teaspoon. So my measuring cup is a one-fourth teaspoon measuring cup. So the way I do it is the first week... I'll do one fourth of a teaspoon, so one fourth of a normal daily serving of creatine. I'll do that for a week. The next week, I'll do one half of a teaspoon, and I'll do that for the entire week. Next week, three fourths. The next week, the entire serving. Then I'll continue that entire serving um, for the duration of the time that I'm taking the creatine, whether that be eight weeks, ten weeks, um, usually no longer than four months at a time. I believe what I read, the maximum was six months at a time is like the maximum that you can safely take creatine without a break. And then I'll usually break from creatine for about two months before I take it again and let my body kind of recuperate and get it out of my system. But anyway, uh, I did a little research. You know, I'm no, I'm no fucking scientist, but from what I read, um, there have been some studies that have showed a linkage between creatine and hair loss because there's something to do with creatine raising some form of testosterone in your body that basically prevents your hair follicles from getting some sort of nutrient that it needs. Um, and as a result, the hair starts to fall out. Um, and then basically what I read was once you go off creatine, this stops happening and you don't lose any more hair. Um, so some people, I saw some studies that said there's no linkage between it. Some studies said there is, so it's kind of up for debate, but in my opinion, there is because I, I never, my hair never falls out. I'm young. I'm 21. I've got this thick, luscious head of hair. I've never had any experience with my hair falling out, but I immediately notice it um, when I start taking a cycle of creatine. So in my opinion, um, there is a linkage between creatine and hair loss because when I start taking creatine, I don't change anything else. I don't change anything about my training. Um, or at least this time I haven't. I haven't changed anything about my training. I haven't really, tra I haven't really changed my diet. I haven't really changed um, my exercise regimen, my cardio. I haven't really changed any of that drastically. So the only, the only variable that I changed between now and when I started losing my hair was that I started taking creatine. Um, so in my opinion and in my personal experience, I believe that it was the creatine that's causing my hair to fall out, and I might just stop taking it. I might not continue with this cycle because the hair loss recently has been so just dramatic it's just been falling out every single day i look at my bed my bed's right here it's got it's got fucking hair on it like i'm a dog um so in my opinion man creatine does cause hair loss and it's not necessarily um a side effect free supplement um as a lot of people would have you think so that's just my opinion that's just my experience i'm no scientist like i said but from what i read and from what i've seen and from looking at my hair I believe that creatine does cause hair loss, man. So that's my personal opinion.